Hello, welcome to Ridgewood Road, a short little game developed by Milk Bar Lads, available on Itch.io. And well, we're gonna investigate a spooky house. Uh, the game does uh, show a bit of a cutscene at the beginning when you open it though, so let me just show that real quick. Hello, this is the Grand Cross County Sheriff's Department. My name is Julia Duane. How can I help you? Is it Duane? Duane? Duane is spelled differently though. Anyway. Hi, my name is Lu Fuz Fuji. Fuji? Lu Fuji. I'm a bit concerned about my neighbor, Lisa Hughes. What seems to be the problem with her? Well, I haven't seen her in at least three or four days now. The last time I saw her, she had just come home from work at 10 o'clock Sunday. She hasn't left her house. A car is still in her driveway. Have you tried to contact her at all since then? I tried to call her a few times. I knocked on her door earlier too. No answer. I'm worried. What if something happened to her? Ma'am, I can't promise that she's okay. But we'll figure out what's going on. I need to know where you and Lisa live. I live at 51 Ridgewood Road. Lisa lives right next door. 53 Ridgewood. Alright, we'll have some of our people over there soon. Thank you. I'll go now. Have a nice night. You too, ma'am. We appreciate your concern. Alright, and that's how, that's how the game starts. And uh, I guess a bit of warning as well. Um, it is, is a horror game. So, uh, be forewarned. I believe the only specific... It's kind of spoilery, but the only specific uh, content warning is that there's references to suicide. So, again, be forewarned. But let's just start. Start the game. June 21st, 2001. 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Grand Cross Country. Um... Am I? I don't know. I'm not American. I don't remember. I assume that's an American state. I want to say Missouri, even though I don't know. I don't know what a Missouri is, to be honest. Look, I live in Canada. Okay. Um, Rachel. Hmm. You know, the sprites kind of remind me of uh, Earthbound. That face in particular. I've got something for you to take a look at, Rachel. Shouldn't you bring this up with Sheriff LeHay first? Well, I, uh... Wasn't able to find him. Right, go on. Well, a lady named Lu Fuji just called here. She says she hasn't seen her neighbor Lisa Hughes in a few days. She saw her come home from work a few nights ago and she hasn't left the house since then. And she already tried contacting her. Says she knocked on the door earlier and tried to call her a few times. Where does Lisa live? 53 Ridgewood Road. Looks like someone's gonna have to do a welfare check. Hopefully not me. That road is seriously creepy at night. I guess one of us will have to tell LaHaye about this. I don't know how to pronounce that. LaHaye? I don't know how to pronounce anyone's name. LaHaye? LaHaye? Duan? Well, I've got no clue where that dude is, so... This is building in- This building isn't that big. It didn't take too long to find him. Well, good luck with that, bud. See you later. Well. <laughs> Interesting graphics. Yeah, it's so it's so earthbound. Look at this. <laughs> it's such an earthbound style. Anyway. Any uh buttons I can press? No? I don't know. Interact. Any interact with stuff? Press space, I guess. Always a popular spot for discussion. There's yeah, the water cooler. You know, this this department must be pretty small if the officers are the one responding to the uh, calls. You know, usually, like, you have someone else do that. That's, I guess, in the big city. We got way too many of these things sitting around. Whatever they are, I don't know. Oh, just more same dialogue. Anything on the desk? Nothing interesting. 
Nothing interesting. Hmm. Oh, nothing interesting. Empty. Like someone's soul. I try- I'm always the type of person that interacts with everything, but it seems like there's nothing much- not much to interact anyway. I guess I'll go this way. Hmm. Weird looking- I don't know, it's- it's a, lo it's, it's a weird looking door. From the perspective. I guess it's fine. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's- it's fine because, uh, you know. It's a way to show that there's a door there, but still, like, from this angle, from, like, my artistic direction, it just looks weird. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so this way is the jail cells, apparently. Okay, some guy's relaxing. Hey! Hey, you! You know why I'm in here! Public intox intoxication. Yeah... You no, know, you don't look too bad. If you're trying to flirt with me, get to get out of here faster it isn't working. You'd be out of here by morning anyways. Now if you excuse me, I'm looking for the sheriff. You haven't seen him, have you? Uh yeah. The sheriff? I think I overheard him say something about uh going to the archives? Something like that. Archive room, huh? You've actually been more helpful than some of the officers in this building. Hey, don't mention it. I'll be here if you need me. I gotta like hold down space for them. You can make the dialogue go faster. It's too slow. But uh, apparently, this is a building, right? So. Again, I, I feel like the department is small. I got the impression that it's small, but actually... The building itself is probably very big. Books, books, and more books. Just books. Hmm. Okay. Looks like somebody didn't clean up here. It's funny how, like, I don't know, there's a lot to explore in this building, but there's not much to do. Not much to interact with. It's just same old, same old, I guess. Can I look at the notes? No. no interesting note that you read in an RPG that gives you lore? Guess not. What's over here? Lounge and waiting area. What are you, what are you doing? Julia, can't you help me find Mr. LaHaye? First off, uh, first of all, that's Officer Duane to you. And so, uh, second of all, I don't know where he is, so no. Alright, first of all, I'm your superior. Second, did you look for him at all? Hey, that's between me and my magazine. You're the worst. I know. <laughs> Again, I... Only in a small department <laughs> were you able to get away with this, I feel like. Uh, be a lazy, <laughs> you know, cop. Uh, the microwave smells like some of the explode popcorn in it. I mean, you know, cops can be lazy, but like, not so blatantly, you know? Probably get fired. But, I guess... Does it matter? In this, uh, in this building. That's the same room, I think, that I went in. Sheriff George LaHaye's office. Okay, probably not LaHaye. I don't know. I don't pronounce his name. I'm pronouncing it quite literally, you know? LaHaye. Looks like there's an archive room key on LaHaye's desk. Hope he doesn't mind me taking it. Now we do need to go to, uh, the archives. Uh, press escape or tab to open the inventory. Okay. There we go. Anything else? Books, books, more books. Oh, that's the archive. I didn't realize. Now, before I go in there, actually, because I'm just double, I'm just curious. The archive. Is there any other places I can go to? Um, well, that's the exit, I guess. 
can't leave yet. You talk about Lisa Hughes to the sheriff. Mm, I think I've been everywhere. I guess so. Oh, what's this door actually? I can't leave yet. Oh, I can't leave. Yet. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. Where is it? Okay. Then glasses inside, eh? Uh, Sheriff LaHaye. Oh, well, it isn't Deputy Rachel Collins. How'd you get in here? You left the key in your office. Right. That I did, Rachel. So, uh, what'd you need? Well, Officer Duane told me she caught a call from a woman named Lou Fuji. Her neighbor, Lisa Hughes, hasn't left her house in days. Says she hasn't uh, responded to any of her calls or answered her door at all. Huh. Where does she live? 53 Ridgewood Road. Uh, 53 Fishwood Road? Ridge, Ridgewood. It's the name of the game. Can't you see the game title? Ah, you see. Well, I've got nothing on my plate right now. Let's mosey on over there and see what's happening. Alright, I'll be in the parking lot. It's almost 11 o'clock. Can't be too much longer before we get there. Ridgewood Road. As long as I've lived here, I've pretty much only heard bad things about that road. Why is that? No. Rumors about Ridgewood go back a long way. Some decades back, a fellow was found strangled to death just off the side of Ridgewood. A couple of other cases similar to that popped up in the area shortly after. The culprit was never found. State police came in and scrapped for... Or not scrapped, or rather scraped for DNA and everything. And it came back with nothing. Eesh. But don't let that scare ya. Odds are that this Lisa lady got cold and... Decided to hibernate for a few days. You know, totally just normal situation. Nothing bad is going to happen in this video game. It's like, it's definitely, completely, you know, mundane and nothing horrible happens at all. Still though, hearing about stuff like that isn't exactly comforting. Well, you know, you should expect to deal with this kind of stuff as an officer. You don't really expect all that much comfort in this line of work. Yeah, I know. It just isn't really the sort of thing you want to hear before a wellness check. Uh, you got a point there, Rachel. But really, I feel like things here will turn out just fine. Let's hope so. Looks like all the lights in the house are on. Somebody must be home. Lisa, open up. No response. No answer, huh? I guess we'll have to find another way in, right? Yep. Uh, Sheriff LaHaye, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What do you need? We got a situation down here at Dale's Bar. Some drunk idiots started waving a gun around and a bunch of people are fighting. We need your help. Mm, we need your help. I'll be there in a minute. Alright, see you then. Sorry, Rachel, but uh... This thing at the bar is a bit more of an immediate concern. It's fine, I get it. I'll just have to find a way in by myself. If everything goes well, I'll meet back up with you in a couple of hours. You should get going. I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, and before I go... It's dark out. Take my flashlight. Again, but, he, but he's the one wearing sunglasses, but anyway. Thanks, Lahey. I'll probably need it. No problem. I'll be going for real now. And my earthbound sprite walks away. Everyone looks like an earthbound sprite. they like... You know... Earth Brown and Mother 3, you know? I guess it's just, just up to me now. 
press F to toggle the flashlight on and off. Anyway, why would you ever have it off though? I wonder. I don't think Lisa would hide a spare key in her trash can. A garden though, with no garden, huh? Ooh. Looks like there's something underneath it though. This must be one of the most suspicious patches of dirt I've ever seen. X marks the spot. There's definitely something buried under there. I just need something to dig it up. Hmm. Looks like something I would drive. A license plate? No. So apparently she's a deputy. I don't know. I don't know the hierarchy of police. Especially American police. I'm assuming deputy is actually like... I could be mistaken, but I thought the deputy is kind of like your... You're not, you're not like a sworn officer, you're more like a volunteer or something. Or I could be wrong, I don't know. Maybe not volunteer, but like, like... You're not like an official police officer, you're like... You know, you didn't go through training or whatever. But I could be wrong, I don't know. Because there, there's like a difference between like a constable and a deputy, right? I don't know. But it would explain like... Because it would be, you know, if uh, Dwayne and like Rachel... I mean, especially Dwayne. If they're not like sworn officers, it would make sense that she's lazy or whatever, but anyway. Looks like Lisa hasn't checked the mailbox in a while. There you go, I see one over here. This might be useful. Just a shovel just lying down there conveniently, I guess. Yeah, we need that in order to uh, dig out whatever is under that. Uh, Ash of dirt. There's a house key inside the hole. Congratulations, you got house key. Stay safe, little gnome. Key in the front entrance. You know, there's always like a, you can. The game said you can examine your uh, items. I don't know if there's any reason to go to your inventory though. Other than just look at it, I guess. Uh, unlock the door of the house key. Good. In the house. Amazing. Looks much bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. Books, books, and more books. Some things never change. Nothing worth noting. I wish I could run, though. Poor thing. Looks like it hasn't been watered lately. Hmm. Go on the left first. Nothing of interest in here. A lot of rooms gotta check out, if you like. Lisa's got some good fashion sense. Safe, huh? Enter past gold. Nope. There's a note taped to the side of the safe. Note to self. There's a spare key to the second floor in here if you ever need it. If I forget the password in the future, it's the initials of the titles of my top five movies. Add out. Me some puzzle solving. Of course there is. There. Move the game a little bit right. I can't. I can't actually move the. Oh, I can't move the window of the game. It like stubbornly not trying. Like stubbornly trying to like stay in the middle. Oh well. And uh, don't forget to write them in alphabetical order. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, future me. Yes, Lisa. Hmm. Okay. Now gotta, gotta find some books. Books, or not books, rather, uh, movie titles. I had books on the on the brain. For some reason. Books, books, and more books. But actually, it's not books. It's not movie. Ah, oh, yes, the toilet. Actually, what is this a strange room? <laughs> Why is... For one, it's a wooden floor. Why is it, like, a washroom like a, has a wooden floor? It just is weird to me. And the, oh, the toilet's just right in the middle? Strange. Reservoir Wolves. Great movie. Hmm, okay. Does she just have it lying around? Alright, let me write that down. Reservoir Wolves. Initials of her favorite movie. Hmm. I don't need to use that right now. A lot of repeat dialogue I found. I feel like if, if nothing is worth noting, then 
why even make it interactive? <laughs> I feel like, you know? <laughs> Either put some interesting flavor text or put nothing at all, in my opinion, but anyway. Hmm. Okay, this goes all the way over here. That's weird to me. I don't know. Is, is it just me? Like a hallway washroom? That's kind of weird. That makes no sense, in my opinion. I mean, well, it's not that it doesn't make any sense at all, rather. It's just a Oakless bookshelf. No strange. It's comfy. Got no time to sit around. Gula Busters on VHS. Gula Busters. Who are you gonna call? Gula Busters! I was pretty scared of this one back when it came out, but I was a lot younger. On. Let's look if there's anything actually in there. There's a laundry room. Looks like a copy of the movie Cerulean Velvet. It's strange that, you know, like conveniently, all the all these movies are just lying around, and they happen to be Lisa's favorites, I don't know. I'm assuming anyway, otherwise why would they be interactable and specifically telling us the title? Um, I remember not being able to sleep that night, or the night that I watched this. Why does Lisa have so many of these? There's a lot of laundry machines, one that's very efficient. I guess. If you have uh, a lot of clothes to clean, oh, I don't know. And this is the washroom, I believe. Let's see. Have we found three so far? I think I need um, five in total. I think. Unless you count the. I don't know. Let's see. Because there's multiple- sometimes there's multiple words in the title. I don't know if you count that. Or is it always just the first initial, the first word? Empty wine bottles. Let's say Lisa's done some drinking over the last few days. Surprisingly clean. Okay, nothing else. This fireplace looks like it's never actually been used. Hmm. No time to rest? Well, that's not what I want. I want to interact with this. A VHS copy of Caddy Shed. Caddy Shed. I feel like all these are references to real life, you know. Horror movies. Or something like that. I was really young when I, uh, or rather, I was really young when this came out. But I remember my dad loved it. Maybe they're real uh, movies? I have no idea. I don't watch a lot of movies. This mirror is giving me the creeps. Noting. It's a copy of Live Hard. <laughs> oh, live well, I mean, isn't that parody of Die Hard? I know that one. I never actually watched it, though. I just ever- I've always just heard about it, you know? People always make references. Uh, I've never been too big a fan of, of action movies, but I like this one a bit. I always, you know, I always hear about things. I never actually, you know, watch it. I mean, it was like a movie or TV show, or like I never actually like listen to it, you know, it was like a song. I always just know about it, but I never actually, you know, engage with it, I guess. Um, I remember actually, I remember being called crazy that I've never heard of the, uh, what was it, the Beatles or something, you know? They're like a famous <laughs> little rock band that pretty much defined the genre of music or something like that, but like, I don't know, where would you, I mean, the Beatles were before my time, how would you know their songs 
Like, do you listen to the radio or something? That's how you learn know about their songs? I don't. I don't listen to the radio. All I watch is anime. So the only songs I know is anime openings, okay? Anyway. Um, okay, so it's the same. So the note is... How do I... Do I just type? Hmm. So I got Reservoir Wolves, Ghoul Busters, Cerulean Velvet, Caddy Shed, and Live Hard. But they have to be in alphabet alphabetical order as well. So I, you know, I have to sing the alphabet. A, B, C, D, C. There's two C's. I'm assuming Caddy, C, A, D, and then C again. I mean, I guess it's either way. It doesn't matter, I guess. It's just two C's either way. Um, so next one. Let's see. What's next? A, C, D. I have to sing it. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I K K L L N O P Q R S. There you go. That did the trick. Ta-da! Arbitrary video game puzzle. I got the second floor key from the safe. Anything else? That safe's been cracked already. Second floor key. We'll open the stairway door to the second floor, which I actually kind of, I also kind of find weird. I've actually never seen like a house with a uh, a door on the stairway. That's strange. Oh well. Alrighty, now we're over here. A little bit darker. Books, books, and more books. Doesn't look like there's anything actually in here. Now, is there like a save system? That'd be nice. <laughs> Where, where's the save system? No. No save system? Hmm. I mean, the game's gonna lose some marks if it didn't have a save system, is all I'm saying. Every video game, every video game I play when it doesn't have a save system, no matter how sure it is, I'm like... No. <laughs> you know, put a save system. You dummy. I don't care how sure it is. I don't care if it's two seconds, put a save system. Damn it. Looks like he's been barely slept in. Must be a guest bed or something. Okay. I mean, it is a very big house. We've been told that Lisa Hughes lives here. But does she live alone? I mean... It doesn't seem like she lives alone from all the stuff that she has. At least she shouldn't be living alone. But, you know, it could be that she is. I don't know, like people move out. Maybe? Recently? Possibly? Because if, if there were other people here that were living recently, um, you know, you'll probably see them, right? But no, only Lisa Hughes was mentioned as being missing. So it's implied that she wasn't the only one living here, but it's a pretty big house, so... Oh, I don't know. Sound like it came from downstairs. Oh, isn't that spooky? Hello? Hmm, footprints. Well, time to leave. Bye. See ya. I walk home. I simply walk home. Okay. <laughs> no, I guess we can't do that. It's our job. We have to investigate. I guess they came from there. Huh. Still locked though. No, oh, let's go this way. Good lord, what happened in here? Oh, they broke a mirror. That's like 13 years of bad luck or something. I found a bedroom key on the ground. Oh, what happened to this thing? I don't know, they smashed it into the mirror. They entered the mirror dimension. Also, that is not books, Rachel. As I interact with the, you know, the thing, and it just gives the wrong description. Hmm, nothing in here. Alright. Well, uh, we have the bedroom key. Where's the bedroom? Lisa's bedroom. Which one is that one? I don't know, actually. 
I know there's some locked doors near the front, though. Or is there a locked door in the second floor? I can't remember. Yeah, that that one's locked. Uh, I don't, actually don't remember. Which one was... Hmm. Let me check yours again. Only because I don't remember. Because that's, that's like a guest room. So you would think her bedroom is somewhere around here as well, right? It's common that the bedrooms are on the second floor, I think. But I've already went to all these rooms, right? No, oh, oh, okay, actually, this one. This one was locked. There you go. Now it's really dark. Hello? There. Jesus! There's, uh, Codian tablets all over her bed. How do I pronounce that? Codian? Lisa must have overdosed and killed herself. I'm gonna have to call Hey back here and tell him what I have found. If only it was that simple. What's that, what's that noise? It sounds like it's coming from somewhere nearby. Uh, okay, <laughs> we can move now. Hmm, so that's Lisa. It looks like she overdosed on painkillers to commit suicide. But I also must look at these books, you know? Forget the dead body, I'm gonna look at these drawers as well. Hmm, I don't think I should go through there right now. Well, instead we must go to the, you know, half-open door instead that mysteriously opened up. Hello? My flashlight is not very, very good. It's still very dark. I can't see anything. Hello? Sir? What are you doing in here? Sir, please, turn around. Uh, uh, put your hands where I can see them. You're resting your... You know, your commanding officer. Ow. Ugh. My whole body hurts. Let's see if I can get up. It's so dark in here. What happened? I've got to get out of here. I think the entrance was just down the hall. Hmm. I need to find mirror fragments to fix this thing with. Do we? I don't know that somehow became our objective. Well, that was weird. How did we end up here? You know, we went up and then came back down here. And came out of the mirror. Seemed like. At least there's a there's at least at least there's a copy of this action movie right here to comfort us. Hmm. Oh, of course. This thing isn't budging. There's something very wrong going on here. Where's that coming from? Um. I actually have no idea. Where would that be coming from? Hello? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. It's over here. Hello? You're in grave danger. Who is this? Do you know what's happening here? You need to leave the house as fast as possible. The only way to get out now is by fixing the mirror. There are three pieces of the mirror scattered throughout the house. Find them and return to where they belong. What's going on with this house? The man behind the closet is standing in the bedroom. The man behind the closet? He's walking to the door now. 
Now he's heading downstairs to the foyer. He's entered the east hallway, walking towards the laundry room. He's behind the door. Run. Hey, what's up? Okay. Oh. I'm dead. I can, like, you know, open the door. You failed. He has reclaimed the mirror fragments. Get up now and return to the house. Okay. Whatever you say, bro. Back here. We have to do the, the cutscene again? I assume so. It is annoying though, again, I wish there was a save system. <laughs> I know the, I guess the idea is that the punishment is supposed to be that you're, you know. The punishment is that you, you obviously have to restart from a checkpoint or whatever, but still. I wish there was a save point, <laughs> but anyway. RUN AWAY! Ah, I think they stopped chasing me. That person on the phone, it seemed like they were trying to help me. They said to find three mirror fragments to put the mirror back together. I guess there isn't anything else I can do right now. I better start looking, and I better follow these vague instructions given to me by a mysterious voice. Video game logic. Alright. Now, now we know why she says that, you know, even though it kinda... It's kinda like a time paradox. But, you know, that's the reason why she says you need to fix the mirror. Uh, but where would we find the mirror fragments, though? I have no idea. I'm, so, I'm also afraid to turn on my flashlights. <laughs> because, uh... It might... Uh, it might attract the, the monster. Okay, but I, I think I saw something sparkly in there. Oh my god. Do I go from the other direction, maybe? I, I kind of hate that we're being- we're gonna be chased about the entire thing here. About the entire section, I feel like. I found one mirror fragment. Is it like- I don't know, is the monster consistent, you know? Do they- are they- are rather persistent? Are they always in the same place? I find them, or is it just a random? I don't know. No, not the books. One down, two to go. Okay, I don't. I wonder if that saves it. I'm not sure. It'd be great if it does. Also, I don't know how she did that. When you just <laughs> you slap it on, do you have any glue on you? How does that work? No. Let's go searching over here. Mirror Fragment, where are you? I hope the flashlight doesn't attract the monster. There you go. Found another one. Okay. I wonder if there's one on the second floor, possibly. But I haven't really checked uh, thoroughly on the other side. On the, on the eastern side. Or was it east? No, west. I always mix up my east and west. The way I remember, I think back in elementary school, they always said like, you know, never eat shredded wheat. North, east, south, west. Never eat shredded wheat. I guess another one would be never eat sour watermelons or something. It doesn't really roll off the tongue though. I feel like other people learn like never eat sour watermelons or some other thing. Like, I I prefer never eat shredded wheat because it kind of rolls off the tongue, you know? Never eat shredded wheat. It's kind of like, uh, it rhymes, you know? Anyway, 
I guess we have to go second floor. It's kind of dangerous though. Not a lot of us have to escape. I know this door is gone, by the way. There's supposed to be a door here. Now it's gone. I always get anxiety, by the way, every time the game transitions from doorway to doorway. We get, I guess that's a classic survival horror thing, though. Ah! 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 Okay. Think we're safe? But yeah, it's a classic survival horror thing. Was it who- I think it was Resident Evil. I don't know if Resident Evil did it first, but I remember Resident Evil did it. Where like, you- when you, uh, go through a door, you know, from section to section or from room to room, it's always like a loading screen, right? They hide it as like a loading screen. But like it's a little animation of like slowly opening the door, you know, and then <laughs> it just takes a million years for you to see what's on the other side. And you're afraid that's a monster, you know. And that should be it. I fixed the mirror. What now? You. Me? Can you hear me now? Oh, it's Lisa. I didn't know who was talking. Can you see me now? Let me show you something. Okay. What are you doing in here? How did you get into my basement? Stop. I don't know who or what you are, but I don't want to have to shoot you. Just start talking and we can handle this without anyone getting hurt. I know I've seen you in my nightmares before. I've seen you every night since I came here, but I never wanted to believe you were real. I want to know why you're doing this. I want to know why you look just like me. Don't come any closer, I'll shoot! Well, silly Lisa, you can't shoot. The supernatural? I, actually, she did, somehow. Oh my god. What? What did I do? That's... That's me on the ground. That can't really be me. God damn it. And now he's got a gun. <laughs> also, that looks like... That looks like Rick. From Rick and Morty. Anyway. The hairstyle. I can't believe Rick is trying to murder us. Whatever. I never actually watched the show. But again, I always just hear about it. Uh, Jesus, is it over now? I think I'm in the basement. I fixed the mirror. I should be able to leave now, but... Was that really Lisa I saw in the mirror? Was she really the person on the phone? Seems like it isn't over quite yet. Alright. Hmm. I mean, this is the place where it happened, right? Where... Lisa's got some good fashion sense. That's... No, no. Uh, this is where uh, the monster got shot, I guess. Hi. You're not me. Whatever you do, stay back. Don't take a single step towards me. Don't come near me. Just get back and let me leave.
Hello, Sheriff. Hello, hey. Would you mind telling me what took you so long in there, Deputy Collins? It took me a while to find a way in. Once I figured out how, how to get in, I thoroughly inspected each and every room of the house. There were a few locked doors here and there. It took a while to search the whole house. Interesting. Would you also care to explain why the door to the house was locked when I got back here? And why you didn't respond to any attempts to communicate? I must have accidentally locked the door back up at some point during my search. Sorry. And I unintentionally left my radio back at the sheriff's department. You ignored all my knocks on the door, too. I never heard any knocks, Mr. LaHaye. I'm really sorry. I've got to say, Rachel, this is some pretty poor police work. It's six in the morning, Deputy Collins. I've been waiting here for hours. I messed up, Mr. LaHaye. I'm sorry. But I digress. Did you find anything in that house? No, I didn't find anything. Lisa was never to be found. I checked every nook and cranny of that house. Well then, sounds like we'll have to file a report and start an official investigation. We've been here all morning. We should be heading back to the department now. Hi, this is the Grand Cross County Sheriff's Department. We're looking for Lu Fuji. Is she available? You're talking to her right now. What do you need? We just wanted to follow up on your call last night concerning your neighbor Lisa Hughes. Lisa Hughes has been confirmed missing as of last night. We're beginning an official search. My god, that's terrible. Poor little thing. She was so young. She only just moved here too, you know. She inherited the house from her parents. We're all si saddened by what's happened. But I do have one question. You mentioned that I placed a call last night, no? Yes, we received a call from a number just a bit before 10 o'clock last night. I wasn't home at that time last night. You weren't? No, I just got back from a week-long vacation earlier today. So you didn't place that call? No. Whoever calls sound identical to you then. I need to tell this to the sheriff. Sorry, but I have to hang up now. I need to inform the sheriff about this. That's fine. Please call me again if you figure anything out. Oh, well, here's a free gun. I guess the monster never pick up the gun. You know, the monster doesn't know anything about guns. But it's a free gun for us. Lisa's gun. I'll probably need this. Free gun. Odds are I'll probably need this. You know, it feels like there's still a lot of items we can get, maybe. I don't know. At least it's empty anyway. Empty slots. Stay away from me. I know exactly what happened with Lisa. Don't think about taking another step. I'm only warning you once. <sighs> it's finally over. I can get out now. Sheriff LaHaye! Uh, Deputy Collins? You have no idea how happy I'm going to see you, George. I heard gunshots. What happened? A lot happened, LaHaye. Too much to explain here. I had to shoot somebody. Are you alright, Rachel? I really don't know, George. We can discuss all that back at the Sheriff's Department. Did you figure out what happened with Lisa? She committed suicide by overdosing. Where's the body? Upstairs in a bedroom. Sheesh, that's horrible. Well, we'll head back to the uh, sheriff's department for now. I know you're stressed out, but we'll have to talk about your altercation later. It's alright, Sheriff LaHaye. I'm ready to go. Hi, this is the Grand Cross County Sheriff's Department. We're looking for Lu Fuji. Is she available? You're talking to her right now. What do you need? 
We just want to follow up on your call last night concerning your neighbor Lisa Hughes. Lisa Hughes was confirmed deceased out last night. We're waiting more details. My god, that's terrible. Poor little thing. She was so young. She only just moved here too, you know. She inherited that house from her parents. We're all saddened by what's happened. But I do have one question. You mentioned that I placed a call last night, no? Yes, we received a call from your number just a bit before 10 o'clock last night. I wasn't home at that time last night. You weren't? No. I just got back from a week-long vacation earlier today. So you didn't place that call? No. Whoever called sounded identical to you then. I need to tell this to the sheriff. I'm sorry, but I'll have to hang up now. I need to inform the sheriff about this. That's fine. Please call me again if you figure anything out. Alright, I guess that, that's it. I got both endings. I guess the, the ending with the gun actually was the good ending, you know, as it turns out. If you go out without the gun, you just get murdered. So, I, so I, you know, my suspicions were correct. It was like, yeah, the, the monster is like a weird doppelganger kind of demon, I guess. And they, um, you know, steal people's identity, basically. So that, like, whoever called the, the police, uh... In the beginning, was impersonating Lisa, uh, Lee, uh, not Lisa, um, uh, I mean, it was impersonating Lisa, but you know, it was impersonating the, uh, caller, I guess. Which makes me wonder how they did that. Can they just transform to anybody? Or did they actually, you know, somehow take, uh, the neighbor's identity as well? I don't remember, I don't, I don't know. It wouldn't make sense though, because they wouldn't be like two places at once. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's the story. So basically, I guess, yeah, I mean, I, I thought the pistol wouldn't work uh, the second time, you know, it'd be kind of like weird if the, the solution to it was to actually just shoot the monster. Um, but it turns out, you know, it's, they simply just needed to be shot again, you know, and then it died, I guess. That's how it works. So basically, the answer is to simply use gun. You know, it's the power of gun. Great. Uh, inspired by Twin Peak, Little Drive, Inland Empire, Mother 3, and Silent Hill. Yeah, I definitely see the Mother 3, you know, inspirations in terms of the graphics, anyway. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I don't know what else was to say about this game. Um, I mean, it's really great graphics, by the way. So, for one, it looks really good. I mean, I can obviously, again, it's like the Mother 3 aesthetic or Earthbound aesthetic, uh, but uh, I mean, I like it. Uh, the portraits, you know, are really pretty, I would say. You know, they, they look really good. And uh, yeah, just in general, the, the visuals are really good. Um, the gameplay as well. I mean, there's not much gameplay when you boil it down, to be honest. Which is fine. It's mostly like kind of more like a story kind of game, I guess. Uh, with a little bit of gameplay. Um, but uh, I guess, I don't know, like a weird thing I want to like mention is that actually the movement system is like really good. I don't know, I don't know if it's just default for the engine or not, but like, I don't know, it, the way you, you move around is pretty smooth. I mean, I, I guess the only thing I wish you, you could do is simply uh, sprint, you know, you can never really sprint, but that's fine. I guess the game's balanced around that. Um, but anyway, actually, let me go back to the main menu real quick. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, the movement system is, I mean, it's pretty simple, but I don't know, it just felt really smooth to me for the most part. Um... I mean, anything else? I mean, there's really just one puzzle. So there's not much, again, not much of like, uh, of actual gameplay, but what was there is, you know, pretty simple, but it was, you know, well designed, I feel like, for the most part. Um, I mean, a chase sequence as well, you know, I think it was kind of balanced. Um, pretty predictable though. I mean, it's definitely like, definitely kind of like, uh, I feel like a homage to like survival horror games. You literally like, you go into a room, the monster chases you, you run back, you know, and then you go out the same door and the monster is gone. I don't know. This is just how it works, I guess. It's a uh, horror game logic. Um, but yeah. I mean, I, I, everything about this game is pretty good, I would say. I guess my, my only, uh, I guess my only criticism, you know, I think I mentioned it before, but... I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll summarize my thoughts here, is that, uh, for one, I kind of wish the beginning was, 
well, a little bit faster, I feel like. The pacing is really slow in the beginning, you know? I felt like it was just kind of meandering for the most part. I mean, especially in the police department. And it might have something to do with the fact that, I mean, it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm the type of player that kind of goes, explores. So I kind of explore, I interact with everything, and I really did feel like the flavor text. I mean, it wasn't, there wasn't much, right? A lot of the, the interactables in this game, the objects, are repeats. They're just repeats and they don't really mean anything, you know? And I just think back to like RPGs or like, you know, top down kind of games where you explore, interact with stuff. When you have flavor text, it usually uh, helps with world building or like it, it helps with characterization or it's just entertaining, you know? Uh, but in this game, there's kind of none of that, very little of that anyway. Um, so like it just felt like a waste of time to interact with everything. But again, I'm the type of player that does interact with everything. So I just felt like you know I just kept getting nothing. So it just felt like complete filler to like interact with like a bookshelf or like a table or whatever. Um, and you, technically you don't need to, but you know you're you're like I feel like for me anyway, I'm um, I'm like like I feel I feel the, the need to because I can interact with it. Right? You can do it because you can, right? But anyway. And I felt like say, part of the reason why there wasn't a lot of interesting flavor text is because maybe the game was kind of like maybe not rushed, but like, you know, there's a time limit, I feel like. You know, I know this game was I believe part of a game jam, like a lot of games in HBO. So probably, you know, at some point in development, they really wanted to fic uh, focus on certain things of others, so they really focus on like adding like whatever like frivolous flavor text to the game so they didn't bother like prioritizing that but you know if you're not going to add like interesting flavor text i really do feel like uh the objects that you could interact with i i wish they would just simply just not be there you know or at least well not 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 like not like uh delete them but rather like make them so you can't interact with them you know just so like i don't waste my time with the same repeat dialogue of like oh this this book is a book <laughs> i don't know some of that um you know books books and more books or whatever but yeah I, I wish they would just simply not allow you to interact with them because uh i don't know the, the fact that you can interact with them just makes me feel like maybe there's there is like an easter egg that i can find but there isn't right so just again i just felt like uh, pointless so if you didn't even have time to have flavor text that just make it so that it's just not there right um but that that was something i i would say that would be uh, that, that would make the game better right? You know, just make it so you don't if you're not really interacting with everything then you don't have to right or you, you don't you don't need to um what else uh uh what, what was what i want to say i mean be, beyond that um i mean that can kind of contribute to the problem i feel like but yeah the game felt like kind of like a little bit um too slow uh oh yeah it's because of yeah part of it's also and be beyond the uh you know the flavorless flavor text i guess beyond that was also the fact there was a lot of empty rooms you know a lot of pointless rooms i felt like um at least in the i mean in the in the department in particular there's a bunch of rooms to go into that serve no purpose right again that goes back into like you know if you're gonna add like something like flavor text there has to be a purpose to it right so i mean it's fine for like a game to be slow but if it's like you know i mean like a horror game for example uh, it needs to build up to something, right? It needs to build up tension. So I felt like the game was actually quite strong on the second half, you know, when there's like a monster, you know, walking around, you know, there's, there's suspense and all that. I mean, typical horror game genre, but like, you know, that's good, right? You can have slow parts because it builds up tension, right? You never know when the monster is going to come back, right? It's kind of like, that's good. When there isn't a monster while roaming around, it's kind of like, it, it feels too slow, right? It's just like, it's not building up to anything. But yeah, anyway. There's a lot of empty rooms at the beginning, um, and yeah, and when you're exploring the house looking for VH ta uh, VHS tapes or whatever, also there's no like, not a lot of purpose to a lot of the rooms. The rooms are just kind of empty for you to like, again, pad out the game, I feel like. So again, I wish there was more purpose to the, to the rooms. Or either that, or the rooms just shouldn't be there, you know, or like, or blocked off, or something like that, I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing, like, maybe, like, I mean, again, I'm not the developer, so I'm, I don't know what the best thing to do or what to add necessarily but maybe you know to make the the rooms that don't serve a purpose have more of a purpose is to maybe flesh out the chase sequence you know like i don't know like adding hiding spots i don't know some of that or like adding more places where monsters could be i don't know i don't know it would it would require expanding more of the mechanics though so i don't know if that's the 
like the, the the right thing to do but uh i don't know i just felt again it's just it felt like the house is really big and there's just not much in it is my general feeling but other than that though overall though i do like the game again visuals are great um i'm trying to think of the music was there like a lot of music well there's a lot of ambience i feel like you know there's a lot of ambience i feel like and uh i'm just thinking back to like um I don't know, they're like the weird scenes, they're really surreal scenes, where it's like, I feel like it was really dreamlike, I guess, you know, you see the monster go in the door, and suddenly you're in a dark place, or whatever, things like that, that was pretty cool, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think of anything else, I don't know, I mean, just, yeah, it, it just, it felt like a really solid game, actually, pretty solid, like, little short little game, um, that kind of touches upon like you know just in general like the horror genre and it's kind of like i feel like a homage actually the whole vhs tape thing as well i feel like it's like i feel like this game is just kind of, kind of make a reference to like a lot of things but uh but anyway oh yeah no now i remember it's not positive though <laughs> okay okay now i remember now i remember what i wanted to say uh but it, it's not it was it wasn't a positive thing actually as it turns out it was kind of more like yeah uh the the save system yes that's what it was i found it kind of annoying actually to like because as far as i know there's two endings in this game and yeah in order to get the other ending you have to play through the entire game all over again so that's what i didn't like yeah i wish there was a save system i know it's like you know especially the chase sequence i i guess the idea is that you if you get caught there's like uh, the punishment is that you know you have to go back to the checkpoint or whatever but still i, I wish there was come some kind of safe system especially near the end i mean especially especially if all you do at the ending is you like you do one thing or the other like it's a, a very much like a very black and white choice like you don't need to do anything specific while you are going through the game it's really just like you either do this or not i mean it's basically uh, i mean i already played the game so it's not really spoilers but you know either you pick up the gun or not at the end why not just have like a safe system just goes all the way at that choice again to like you know so to allow the player to see the other ending without having to go through the game, entire game again. you know i don't know that's just my philosophy because i always like to find all the different endings in like a video game especially if it's like narrative focus so yeah I, I wish the game had like some kind of save system near there. even if it's just that even if it's just allow you to save at the end there you know just so you can see the other but yeah i always say no matter how short the game is you should always have a save system in my opinion yeah I'm, so i'm docking like one one point from this game you know even though i like it i'm docking one negative one one point out of like i don't know of, of a million i guess but still, it's still one one point off. But anyway, other than that, though, uh, again, I feel like overall is a pretty good game. Um, but yeah, anyway, I mean, what was I to say? I guess that's it. Well, that was it for Ridgewood Road. If you're on YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs on the channel, so you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you then.